Good morning. It's Wednesday. 9 10 just about to eat breakfast i'm actually at home right now working from home i'm gonna be preparing for my first session of training at macy's it's gonna be like a four-hour training session just going over policies and procedures and all the boring stuff that's literally what the lady told me over the phone i still gotta dress kind of nice but more much more casual just because i'm gonna be like i don't know if i'm by myself or in a group orientation type thing it's just gonna be sitting in a room like i don't know maybe like watching a video am i gonna feel like i'm in school again? Again, like in elementary school watching one of those big like you know box TVs or something like that I'm not sure how it's gonna go I've never been in one of Macy's training things I'm looking forward to it that means I get to go to the mall hang out hopefully it won't be too bad because again it is four hours and that's about 11 15 this morning and so I got a couple hours until I gotta be there Dr. Carson is actually here in Lynchburg right now he's here for convocation which is LU's big uh, gathering that happens three times a week. Not to advertise for them or anything, I mean, like, I did go there, but um, just to explain, it's just uh, when all the students and most of the faculty get together, they'll have, like, a worship session, and then they'll have announcements. Someone will come to speak, usually it's a special speaker, whether it's a politician or a businessman or, you know, religious leader or something along those lines. We've had all kinds of people come. Some really popular, I mean, like, even Donald Trump came, like, three years ago. And this is not Dr. Carson's first visit. He's not coming here to do a debate or anything. It's, I'm pretty sure it's just to speak. But they had security screenings starting at like 8 a.m. right outside the Vine Center, which is where they're holding it. I'm not going to be going to that just because it's going to be pretty crazy and everything. They started doing the security screenings like over an hour ago. I'll probably just watch from like online or something like that because Wednesday mornings is when they actually do the live broadcast. Hey guys, so long day. I know I didn't do anything as far as vlogging uh, throughout the entire day. It's 11.46 here in Lynchburg, Virginia. I'll just give you a very, uh, like, just to start, a summary of my day. I had training at Macy's, picked up Megan, we went to Chipotle for a very late lunch slash early dinner, went to Target, went to a pet store, came home and took a nap. After that, I helped her put together basically a slideshow for her brother's Eagle Scout promotion ceremony. Now I'm here. Okay, just to break it down, Macy's training, uh, it was pretty good. Three and a half hours of Macy's stuff shows me uh, how great of a company that Macy's really is. I'm kind of surprised that they're having to close so many stores. I mean, I guess because it's expensive, that's really what's the killer for them. Sorry, I keep on like adjusting my hair and everything. I just shower and stuff at the end of the night. I see a lot of Disney. In, in Macy's, and that's probably why Macy's has such a big part of ABC Corporation. I found out that they put a lot of money into ABC. They don't own ABC, they work together. I saw a lot of what Macy's is made of, what's involved in working with Macy's and being part of it. Just to recap, and if this is your first time watching, I'm trained to be a, a global sales associate, which means that I'm a sales associate for the entire store. Sort of free reign to walk around anywhere that I want in the store. I'm not confined to a specific department. Looking forward to my first day. I'm not totally sure when that's supposed to be. I think it's a few days after my second training day. I did my first one today. It was just all like sitting at a computer and learning and and reading and watching and listening. Sunday is my second and final training day. It's when I go around the store, learn the ins and outs of actually working with you know, cash register and shadowing a sales associate. Uh, if you're a sales associate, know how it is and stuff. So I'm hoping this is like the best experience for any sales associate ever, except maybe at a Disney store. But that's just the bias that I am. I was gone without a phone for the entire time. I went like five hours without a phone total today like without it being in my possession at all. And that's because uh, Megan came to pick up some stuff from my house. I accidentally picked up my phone thinking it was her phone. I had to make a quick trip home because I was just not told that I had to bring a few things. So I came home, left my phone, and she came by later and picked it up. So I was gone, I, I, I didn't have it the entire time I was training. And they were allowing us to use them and stuff because we were just sitting at a computer unsupervised and so it was a very chill thing. Got home, that was around like 3.30. We were supposed to meet at the mall for lunch or something like that, Meg was already home. Ended up going to Chipotle, did our first mobile order, which was fantastic. Just like Starbucks, the same feeling you, when you wanna have this like really customized order and not feel guilty about the whole thing. <laughs> and then we went to Target. Might be wearing uh, some Star Wars uniform or like some kind of costume or something like that for when we go to the premiere of Star Wars. And we also went and checked out some puppies and uh, some reptiles over at the pet store, pet and aquatic warehouse here in Lynchburg. Just came home and 
took a super late nap. I mean, it was like seven o'clock and I was just like, yes, it's a late nap, but oh my Lord, I was so tired because I was not just doing Macy's training. I was also doing some work from home stuff for TRBC, handling tickets and putting out little fires here and there, just interacting with my team. I mean, I love being able to do that. I love being able to work from home and stuff and work wherever there's an internet connection. That's a huge blessing. And so uh, I'm not really tired right now. It's just, I, I don't know what, something's bothering my eye. I'm not even allergic to anything. I put a pretty good amount of effort into helping Meg with using iMovie because it was my first actual time using iMovie. And so I watched a couple of tutorials on the ins and outs and everything. It's got a pretty good handle on it. And so I've, I've been using YouTube Editor. If you're a YouTuber, you might know what I'm talking about by the, uh, the YouTube visual editor or something like that. Sorry, I didn't itch on my foot. But using iMovie, I think I'm going to start doing that a lot more. It saves a lot of hassle, saves a lot of time, a lot of headache so far. I mean, I'm just a basic user, but kind of a beginner user. But we were just using it to put together her brother's slideshow because he's going to be graduating from Boy Scout to Eagle Scout. This is like his big ceremony where there's going to be three families, his and two of his buddies that are also going to be Eagle Scouts. Megan's mom was actually going to make a slideshow just, you know, with music and just pictures and stuff from all the past few years that he's been in it. Like most of his life he's been in it. So it was kind of emotional, I could tell, just because of memories, you know. It, it, it's going to be good. After that, we got to eat some more Filipino food from uh, the Virginia Beast trip. I can't remember what I had. It was something that I showed you guys on an earlier vlog uh, for Monday. I'm going to be calling it a night. Megan is leaving tomorrow to go back to uh, her home just for the weekend. Her brother's Eagle Scout ceremony. So I'm going to be here, just me and my brother and whoever else we decide to hang out with this weekend. So I'll be catching you guys later. Night.